I welcome you to Mazar channel. Encourage you to share uh, the message. The messages that you hear from this channel are messages of judgment and messages of repentance, messages of salvation, messages related to the soon arrival of our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Yeshua. In today's video, um, I'm focusing on uh, on Africa and Africa in the end times and Africa has been um, written off and you hear headlines and titles of magazines uh, Economist magazine had a title the lost continent referring to uh, Africa. Uh, Africa is not lost. Uh, even if Africa is lost, it will be found. It's very interesting that um, there are lost tribes of uh, Jacob, Israel. Uh, they are lost because they were dispersed over the world during the transatlantic slave trade. But the Bible prophecies that we know are saying that they will be uh, regarded. So Africa is not lost. Uh, spiritually, Africa is alive and it will bounce back. And so there's hope for Africa in the last uh, days. Um, there's hope because the man who carried the cross of our Lord and Savior um, was Simon, the Simon of Sarin. And historic or historical records show that Sarin in North Africa was a place inhabited by uh, black people in North Africa. And so many scholars believe that Simon or Simon of Sarin was an African. So it was an African who carried the cross of Christ when the Roman soldiers forced him to carry the cross of Christ during the time of crucifixion. I listened to a pastor, an African pastor, uh, he referred to that event and he said that in the same way that a black man carried the cross of Christ, when Christ is coming, in his glory, he'll be welcomed by a black man. And so that prophecy um, is going to be fulfilled. Um, it's not in the Bible, but it's not everything that is in the Bible. There are so many revelations that are not in the Bible, and it's God who gives those revelations. The Lord has said in Numbers chapter 12 verse 6 that if there's a, a prophet among you, I'll speak to him in dreams and in, in visions. So the hope we have is that as a black man carried the cross of Christ as recorded in the Bible relating to Simon of Cyrene, a black man welcomed the Messiah as he comes in his glory and his power. Uh, Africa is also not lost because in Genesis chapter 15 verse 13, the Lord reminded Abraham that his ancestors will go into captivity for 400 years and after that the Lord will visit them and those who put the children of Abraham into captivity will be judged. And based on that prophecy in Genesis 15 verse 13, the 400 year slave trade beginning in 1619 ended in 2019. And I consider the healthcare event that went on in 2020 killing people 
as part of the judgment, the judgment continued in 2021. And in 2022, um, the judgment is still continuing. The judgment will be on the nation that scattered the children of Jacob, um, as recorded in Gen Genesis 15:13. The Lord will judge them after the 400 years. And I believe that we see the judgment that are coming. So Africa will be redeemed and the Lord will avenge the calamities that were inflicted uh, on Africa. And there's hope because based on the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 11, the Lord will regather the scattered of the children of, uh, of Jacob and the names of the places where they were scattered to and from which they will be guarded are mentioned in Isaiah 11.11 and I mentioned Cush which is Ethiopia I mentioned the islands of the sea whether you're talking about United States whether you are talking about Jamaica talking about Trinidad St. Thomas you're talking about Haiti and all other places Africa is not lost. Africa will be found. Africa will be redeemed because I've already made a video where in a vision I had a voice saying that in the last days, the wealthiest, the richest nation in the world would be an African nation. I will not mention the name of the African nation, but the nation is in uh, West Africa. And it will be a surprise because if you take a country like Congo, it has a lot of natural resources, but as a result of internal and external forces, particularly colonialism and wars, those resources have been squandered and these resources have not benefited the people of Congo. If we take Angola, for example, Angola had oil. There was a time that Gulf oil facilities in Angola were being terrorized by saboteurs that were funded, they were, that were supported uh, by the CIA. So you saw a situation where the CIA was supporting people damaging Angola's oil facilities that were operated by Gulf Oil, which is an American company. And it took Cuba for the Castro's troops to defend Angola's oil, to defend Gulf oil facilities in Angola from being attacked by rebels supported by the CIA in Angola. All those things will change and Africa will be remembered and Africa will laugh last when the richest nation in the world in the end times will be an African nation located in West Africa. I know the name of the country I will not mention for spiritual reasons. So Africa is not lost. If you are a daughter of Zion, this is your time. Your time is coming. Your Messiah is coming. Accepting, repent, and accept the gospel. Thank you for this message.